Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today to share with you guys a post review of this Alice in a Bottle. <laughs> this is by Safina Art. It's so cute. It's a partial. It doesn't take very long to do at all and it's fun. It's a square that is a 16 by 22 inch or a 41 centimeter by 56 centimeter. But as I said, this is a partial and so that is not the, comp that's like the size in a square, but obviously there's huge portions of this that you do not drill. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do like a close up, but I can like slowly show you this canvas <laughs> um just easily you know because it's so small um so I did make a few changes on this kit um so one of the very first things that I, I, I guess I have the benefit of working on this kit was that I'd seen a few friends complete this kit and make some changes. And they had some thoughts um, about, about this kit. Um, first off, that this, the eyebrows were like a light green color. Okay, so like I was saying that these eyebrows were green and this is the original color that they were, which I feel is very green. <laughs> looking I can see where you could get it from the original rendering but I just didn't like her having green eyebrows so if you look at them I actually did them I feel like closer to what a blonde eyebrows would look like within the kit I ended up using the number four the 832 which was going to be the gold that was going to wrap around there I used this in her eyebrows which I felt was much better than this green um, for the eyebrows and then with her skin color the original charting was going to be this color as the light color and then this color as the dark color and now a lot of people felt that the bags under her eyes were just too dark this is a pretty dark color and I do feel like this could be like she's a little tanner However, what I did to avoid the really dark was I went a tone lighter to 353. And so I kicked 351 out and I did these two together, which I felt blended better on the kit. She's a little bit wider, you know, a little bit lighter skin, um, but I just felt like it blended better. This one was just way too pink and bright for me. Um, so, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's the best thing ever, but I mean, I like it. I think it matches pretty well. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I severely changed it so much. Um, okay, so the original ABs though that they did include was this light one and this light, this two. <laughs> I was gonna say this light yellow and this white. I just mixed up my words there. So that is found right here in her dress and in her stockings, as well as her eyes, and then the yellow in her hair. And then there was white in the tips right here, and then there was some white um, down here, and there was a little bit of white just like on the side. Now, I um, actually switched out 775 for 775 AB, and that is where you'll see some blue ABs on the side of the kit. It kind of just expanded what was going to be originally in white. And then of course for these, there was like three little bubbles and I just used um, some white AB quad cubes from DP with sparklers. So I just put them in there because they were like little cube likes. There was one, the last one was a little bit larger, but since I had the cubes, I just kind of filled it in with the colors that were around it. And then my um, favorite part of this is, of course, the gold. Because you guys, if you hear me at all on my channel, I love the gold sparklers. This is the candlelight sparklers, um, the sparklers for squares. So these are round, but they're sized for squares. And these are the candlelight sparklers from Diamond Painting Drills. I really enjoy those. Um, I think it's just fun. It adds a little bit of sparkle up at the top, this, this chain, and it was just really easy. They fit really well, and um, that would have originally been charted in this color, 
and that's when I just I used that instead. And then up to the butterflies, which I felt like gave a good opportunity to, um, I did replace, there, there were like little squares right here that were the tops of the butterflies. And I just had these blue circles that I added. I don't know if I love it, but it's different. <laughs> so I just did these and then I found the equivalent crystal and I did crystals for the um, rainbows, or not the rainbows, the, the butterfly wings. And then of course this one, I did it a mix of 209 AB, 209 and 208 in the crystals and those were from DP with sparklers. These round crystals I got were from Amazon. So this is the kit for you. Um, I did this, these were mostly older drills from Diamond Art Club because this is a kit that I got a long time ago. And um, so I, I feel like there was quite a bit of trash um, and, and it's not quite as shiny as their new drills, but it's still good, it's still good quality Diamond Art Club drills. Um, obviously it's, it still looks really good. I do wish, um, this, the drink me was a little bit separated so you could read it better, but I don't think that, um, they could do that with the drills and make it look good. You know, I, I think, I don't think they had room for that unless they changed up like the rendering and did the tag longer and you know as a diamond painting company their job is to try and render the artwork as it is rather than trying to like rework the artwork and so they try to keep it as close to the original as possible overall i just have to say this is a really cute fun alice in wonderland piece i did do this for hashtag alice in a winter wonderland event this was like a second painting that i did for it and it was just a really fun quick project um so anyway, let me know what you guys think. And if you have this one in your stash or if you'd like to get this one, I believe it's available. I don't know if it's in stock or not, but I do believe it's still on the website. So um, I will see you guys in another video. Bye.